The trading fallacy of holding the top 10 cryptocurrencies. There is a very common crypto trading strategy that doesn't make sense to me because I think it's flawed. The strategy I'm referring to is buying Bitcoin and then diversifying your holdings by also acquiring the other coin market cap top 20 or, or top 10 tokens. So there are two issues I see with this strategy. First, the price movements of many of the top 20 tokens have a positive and a significant correlation with the price movement of Bitcoin. And those correlations get stronger as you move into the top 10 tokens. Look at this chart I just put up. It shows the correlations in price movement between Bitcoin and a number of other popular tokens over the last 30 days. Most of the top uh, 20 tokens are in there. And the numbers in this chart go from one to negative one. So it's a standard regression chart. The closer each of the numbers is to one, the more correlated the price of that token is to the price of Bitcoin. And it's also greener. The more green the square, the more correlated that token is to the price of Bitcoin. You see a lot of green in there, don't you? Litecoin, BCH, Stellar, NEO, Binance Coin, they all have a significant and positive correlation with the price of Bitcoin over the past 30 days. But I've also run this regression chart for one year time periods, for seven day time periods, and you find not an exact, but a similar pattern. Lots of the top 20 tokens track to the price of Bitcoin. This is why there's a problem with the trading strategy of buying Bitcoin and a basket of the top 20 or the top 10 tokens. Basically, it's a redundant strategy. You might as well just buy Bitcoin. And, and Bitcoin, by the way, is more liquid. The issue with holding a basket of assets that move in the same direction around the same events is actually a well understood issue in the stock market. And people spend a lot of time making sure that their assets in the stock market are not so strongly correlated that a problem in one affects the other. But cryptocurrency trading is still a nascent industry and a lot of people are ignoring this correlation problem. But I don't think you should. So if you shouldn't just buy Bitcoin in a basket of the top 20 tokens, what should you do? Well, a better approach, I think, is to develop an opinion around a particular blockchain sector. So take a position in the blockchain sectors you believe are promising. Now, those new sectors could be, I don't know, inner blockchain communications, lots of companies with tokens involved in that area, or blockchain video gaming, or the rise of exchange issued tokens. By the way, this is what venture capitalists do. We see some emerging trend, maybe vertical marketplaces or mobile gaming or artificial intelligence, and we find companies that are doing innovative things in those new sectors. We don't just say, hey, let's put all of our money in the top 10 most valuable unicorns. Well, actually, now that I think about it, one VC firm did try that strategy, SoftBank, and it hasn't worked out well for them. If you had noticed the emergence of, say, exchange issued tokens a while back, and maybe you even notice how those exchange issued tokens have adopted a new economic model that's different from the classic utility token economic model. Those of you familiar with Binance token will understand this. You would have done very well. Identifying the up and coming promising new sectors in blockchain will also help you identify the best opportunities when those opportunities are still attractively priced because other people have not yet done their homework. This is what VCs call having insight. Seeing something new, figuring out early why it's going to be a big deal and then investing in it. That is a far better strategy than blindly buying a basket of the top tokens. I want to finish here by saying what I've discussed in this video is not intended to be personal investment advice. What you choose to buy or sell is up to you based on what you know about your personal financial situation. What I'm trying to do here is to provide a different perspective on these popular run of the mill trading strategies and share a potentially better way to go about creating a crypto portfolio. If you like what you heard on this video, please hit subscribe, make a comment, and I'll talk to you next time.